ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President, Energies for Africa, and former French Minister of State, Jean-Louis Borloo. Mes chers amis, Madame la Ministre, s'il y a un point commun à la lutte contre les conséquences du dérèglement climatique, à la capacité d'assumer le choc démographique de l'Afrique, d'assumer la croissance, d'assumer le développement, de maîtriser les grands flux migratoires, ça a un nom, ça s'appelle l'énergie. Name, and that is energy. Energy is not a topic as others. It is the prerequisite to access to water, to access to education, to health, to the equilibrium of the territory, access to jobs, agriculture, and growth. And we are into a period when Africa has the biggest energy potential and at the same time is the continent facing the biggest energy challenge. Despite efforts from everyone, each year 10 million Africans more don't have access to energy. So if there is one common point, as I mentioned, between growth, safety uh, and balance, Uh, that is energy again. There must be one result to the process uh, of the uh, meeting in Paris. It is the funding and the implementation of one common plan for uh, electrifying the African continent. To be totally honest, I do not believe a lot in international fundings with large figures. You don't know who gives, you don't know who benefits, you don't know what the action is. We've seen that through the FEM and the Climate Fund. African leaders are very much aware of that. Uh, uh, on the proposition that I made, they adopted at Johannesburg on the 15th of June the principle for an electrification agency for Africa. Uh, projects are everywhere in Africa. It's not a technical program. We know the orders of magnitude. We know what fundings are needing uh, the, uh, in every bank, World Bank and others, with private funds and international funding. The only thing which lacks is one marginal part of funding, which will be non-reimbursable international funding. If we do this, in eight years, we can electrify the continent, and this is absolutely indispensable if we do not have this five billion funding per year. If we do not have this, uh, the ones who say that it will be possible lie. Now, if we have the agreement in Paris, it's going to be short. It's going to be four pages of agreement, funding agreement and uh, uh, sharing agreement, a virtuous agreement through uh, grants of, from countries of Annex 1, which have emissions of more than eight tons per year and per inhabitant. This is 11 countries. And that would move on from 3 billion to 5 billion to the benefit of an agency supporting electrification and managed by the African states. That's 1.2 billion for Europe. If you look at it, if you compare it to what's at stake, it is negligible. And then once we reach the 5 billion uh, uh, figure, uh, everything will, will go on. And then you have a bonus and malus system if you're in the Annex 1 of the Kyoto Protocol, the more you contribute, the less you emit, the less you contribute. It's going to be a virtuous circle, which one will show the involvement of the countries emitting uh, CO2 uh, carbon gas. Second, it will help uh, the electrification of the whole of the continent of Africa in eight or nine years duration period. All conditions are here. African leaders are agreeing. Americans are aware of that. European leaders are uh, want to move forward. Things have changed since our last involvement. Energy was just one topic among others. We all now know that this is a 
prerequisite. And as um, Madam Minister is here, in accordance with Europeans, with Americans, if only one pragmatic result would come in December, it would be the signing of a worldwide agreement to electrify the African continent and have the first sustainable continent in humanity. And the risks of immigration, of migration within Africa and beyond Africa would be reduced. On top of that, for developed countries, a support for developed countries uh, coming from a growth from an African continent uh, which is already growing at 5%, uh, would move to a 10% growth rate, and that would help Europe so much. The last point, energy program is a light program. Democracy doesn't bring light, it's the reverse. Light brings democracy. I'm very optimistic so that Africa become a true giant, but I'm very pessimistic if we do not decide avec ces 3 as soon as January 2016 with this $3 billion dollars to start si with non-reimbursable grants. If we don't do that, the youth of Africa, monde, the youngest continent of the world, revolt, which is in between jeunesse, uh, revolt and hope, well, I tell you, the youth de devenir une jeunesse de probably becoming on est à un uh, a youth on pas of... Le choix. Uh, Le children soldiers, we have no more choice. Let us choose the growth of Africa. Let us face the issues. If we don't do that, we continue having large figures, adaptation, attenuation, mixing public funding, private funding, and so on, methodologies we all know, which, by the way, saying that we are going to make it, that the problem will not be solved. I have total confidence in the African leaders, in Europe, in the French government, in order that at least this very pragmatic, precise, sustainable, traceable agreement be signed in January 2016. Thank you very much.